Okay, pumped up from looking at the first 2000 plus um, game review, looking at the answer process. In fact, it's more than 2000 plus, it's like 2800 plus player. And yeah, pretty impressed with that. So I got fired up for I'm going to play a game and then go on to the next review of the next 2800 um, player. So this is how the game went, uh, just quickly run through it. Just, so we opened up pretty straightforward, all pretty normal stuff this and we captured and just placed the bishop supporting the pawn. And developed the bishop, keeping it nice and simple, developing the knight supporting the pawn but now bringing the knight across to um, help support the king, uh, give it some company and now we can push onto the knight. Now this was a mouse slip. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mouse slip, but probably I was thankful that it was a mouse slip because um, I was actually wanting to just take the pawn off the board here. Um, I was looking to take here. Let's see if there's a, a bigger difference. In fact, yeah, thankful that I didn't because it went minus there, didn't it? Yep. So, yeah, it was a mouse slip, but a thankful mouse slip. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Um, so, the mouse slip gave me the answer. So we could take the knight off the board and take the queen off. So now we can attack the um, pawn with the support from our bishop and capture the pawn. And smaller piece again attacking the higher piece. And just developing the bishop now looking maybe for a stealth maneuver onto this pawn here. But then on looking, this, pawn, this bishop is actually protecting. So if we can get rid of this bishop somehow and condense it in, Maybe that might give us some um, weight. So they actually come down with the pawn. So it kind of sort of circumventing our movement a little bit. We're just wanting to win some tempo. But knights hunt the bishops in our mantra. So we'll take the advantage to jump across and grab. So we're now actually on their rook. We're also on their bishop as well. So the rook has to move. So we win a type of tempo and capturing their bishop. So we're a minor piece up in this particular game. So we can now start targeting the unprotected pieces. So we grab a pawn. We're actually on the rook, also on the pawn. Rook comes down. So I was undecided about actually maneuvering and capturing the pawn. But in my head, I thought, I'm going to get trapped. It's not going to get back out again. Because this all this rook has to do is come here. And then really, where do I go? I'm going to get captured. So based on the recent experiences of our using, utilizing our knight incorrectly, um, we're basically now looking at really improving the way that we work with our knights. We're, we are a knight specialist, but we've learned to bring the bishops in line as well. So we like both now. But I don't want to get too complacent with the knowledge that I've got with the knights. So we brought it back. And start manoeuvring again, looking for a bit of safety, but also any potential attack areas. So we bring the knight up for a check on the king and bring it down, attacking the rook. Always knowing that we're going to be taking a piece off the board somewhere because the knight's got fork ability. So it's still constantly attacking our knight in, rather than improving their position. But then if you have a look, they are potentially looking to target this pawn. So bring a knight up, putting a check on the king, also on the pawn again. So the opponent's allowing us these um, uh, spaces and pieces to attack. So we bring the knight now to a moment of safety, I think, with the pawn um, supporting here. In the back of my head, I'm thinking, have they got some weight in terms of having the two rooks on this pawn? So I need to bring the rook up now, maybe put some pressure on the king. So we start leaning, up, leaning on the king a, bit, a little bit. And then go for a fork type situation. At this point, the opponent resigned as we're looking to take just looking to take the rook off the board with the check from the king. So yeah, felt really good. I think I was on fire from looking at the um, twenty eight hundred game and doing the game review there, where they were using the answer um, wholeheartedly, hundred percent. It's absolutely fantastic to see.